it is since the beginning of times that a lengthy process of lateritic beneficiations has resulted in the formation of that oil which has become essential to most modern industries. In effect, the manganese deposit process in the Proterozoic Franzvillian Basin about 2 billion years ago resulted from the stabilization of all the elements that were generated by the Big Bang. Today, in the town of Mwanda in Gabon, Mother Nature has provided a huge open space reservoir of manganese deposit, amounting to one-fourth of world reserves. This allows the company Minière de Logoué, or Comilog, several decades of oil extraction and other connected activities. Comilog, a powerful branch of the metallurgic group Eramet, has extended its presence throughout the world in the past 50 years. Today, with the backing of Eramet, its presence is effective in transformation plants in Europe, Asia, and North America. With an average manganese concentration at 46%, the ore extracted from the deposits of the Moanda region in Gabon ranks among the richest and purest in the world. As a result, Comilog proposes one of the widest range of products, which makes it one of the leading international groups in the field of manganese. Nearly 90% of sales of that ore are destined to the siderurgic industry. Manganese increases the elasticity, toughness, and yield point of steels. Six to seven tons of manganese are needed for one ton of steel. It is used to counterbalance the effect of sulfur and as a deoxidizing agent. Manganese is the fourth most used metal in terms of volume, behind iron, aluminum, and copper. It is a raw mineral that has many applications, such as special alloys, chemical industry, food processing industries, batteries, pigment, lithium rechargeable batteries, and medicaments. Numbering nearly 3,000 employees in its staff and through its Gabonese branches, Gomilag is presently one of the main private employers in emerging Gabon. A country straddling the equator, Gabon has shifted from a population of 400,000 in 1966 to nearly 1.5 million inhabitants today. And the government's ongoing quinquennial plan is investing the tidy sum of 12 billion CFA to modernize its infrastructure. Libreville, where since 1986, the mineral has been collected and charged into cargoes to be exported from the Owendo port facility. But to reach that point, it has been a long trip which starts from the Bangombe Plateau, 600 kilometers away, in the higher Ogwe province, in the southeastern part of Gabon. Moanda and its 30,000 inhabitants, a small and prosperous city which was built around manganese activity. The exploitation of the Moanda manganese deposit which started in October 1962, only on the Bangombe Plateau, is at the very nexus of Comilog activity. With a gabonization rate exceeding 88%, a process that was launched in the 80s, 
The Comilog leadership quickly understood that human resources were at the core of the company's activity. Since the late 80s and at the beginning of 2000, prior to the starting of the Mwanda Industrial Complex, Comilog implemented an intensive training policy for all its personnel, especially its managers. The company's leadership has placed training as their highest priority. The blatant improvement of productivity does not just rely on the evolution of machinery, which gets bigger and bigger, but also owes it to the rethinking and rationalizing of the entire extraction process. The drag lines are now dedicated to the uncovering of mineral by scouring the sterile levels, especially the soils. Mineral quality is first appraised upstream. Firstly, the prospecting, appraisal, evaluation of weight and grade of the mineral is completed. Then, it is extracted according to its chemical components and the client's requirements. Year in and year out, the client is guaranteed to find the range of products and quantities available for his convenience. No more moving shovels weighing over 120 tons from one open gas to another, an operation that used to last more than eight hours. From now on, moving a shovel is completed in 15 to 30 minutes on slip nuts. From now on, plots that have already been exploited are immediately refurbished and reinstated in the valley landscape. Within a secured environment, Comilog is into the dynamics of prevention, risk reduction, and mastering impacts on the environment, in connection to mining and industrial activities, in compliance with legal and other applicable requirements. This step for quality at the core of mining production is the main challenge for Comilog, whose major goal is to maintain a steady growth of its production by adapting and renovating its production infrastructure, thus maintaining its position as leader in a very competitive international market. To minimize the back and forth activity of loaded trucks, the extracted mineral is now broken right on the quarry up to about an 80 mm gray. Homogenized and stuck in lots of 30 to 60,000 tons, the mineral is later transferred to washing along a 4 km transporting carpet. This reorganizing of work procedures shows Comilog's commitment to improve working standards on a day-to-day -day level. At the plant, the mineral is stripped of its mud and thoroughly washed. Then, it will be screened by a granulometric fraction to obtain two different products, the rough and the fines. When the mineral's grade is more or less 50% of manganese, it is directly sent to point A, or Tero, for storage. All those market products 
are sent to the mineral train station by way of a 7-kilometer transporting carpet. The products are further shipped by train to Owendo, where they are loaded into boats to be shipped to clients abroad. A portion of the finds will be transformed at the Mwanda Industrial Complex into hydrometal and cake. Here at Comilla, nothing is lost and all is transformed. The sterile ultrafines, less than 500 microns, are carried through pipes to the industrial basins, which are created on formerly exploited zones. Whereas sterile sands between 500 microns and 1 millimeter are retrieved and stored at the quarry's sterile banks. Regarding Comilog's environmental policy, manganese finds waste rejections into the Mulili River have ended since 2010 and finds waste extraction has begun. It will take 10 years to evacuate the 12 million tons which have accumulated there. The finds thus recoup are sent to the Mwanda Industrial Complex Unit where they are upgraded to their best condition. Truly a sustainable development process by which the rehabilitation of the environment, the valorization of fines waste go together with the economic activity. To strengthen its environmental commitment, Camilla has set up a new hydraulic chain which has led to an effective zero manganese sediment and zero soil waters rejection into the Molili River and into nature. Here, the main basin has a 70 meter radius. The washing waters are recycled and partly reused for the washing process. 10% of recycled waters are currently sent to the plant via the basin called the decanter. Since 2006, Camilog has begun the construction of several large basins at the pace of one per year and at a price tag at 1 billion CFA per item. These basins are to take delivery and to confine all sterile ultrafines, thus assuring that the goal of zero rejection be met in the Molili River. This program positions Comilog as a major player in the field of mining development in Africa in observation of the best international criteria in environment protection. A mapping of the previous ecosystem of the site is being drawn. This will permit the measurement and control of the impact of mining work over the environment. After being awarded the ISO 9002 certification for the quality of the mining enterprise as a whole in the 30th of May 1998, today Comilog's ambition is to become the first Gabonese mining company to earn the ISO 14001 certification. It was under patronage of late President Omar Bongo Ondimba, who always closely watched over the growth of Comilla, and who was celebrating his 65th birthday that very day, that in the year 2000, the decision to transform the manganese locally was made effective. A giant step, which strengthens the company's position as promoter of important projects that warrant the longevity and development of the group. In addition to the extraction of the rocky ore, the production of cake by valorization of fines has been effective at the complex since that day. In 2011, the industrial complex of Mwanda produced 580,000 tons of finished product, half of the 3,400,000 tons of the entire production of Comilo. The industrial complex of Mwanda produces hydrometal and manganese cake. Hydrometal is obtained through concentration in dense milieu of the fines coming from the mine's washing unit 
end from the manganese filled sediments of the Molili River, with a grade varying from 40% to 50%. This new mineral will then be jigged to become grains of enriched manganese with a granulometry of 0 to 10 mm. Recently, the industrial complex of Mwanda has been valorizing manganese sables by obtaining concentrated manganese grains by way of magnetization. The blending of these new products with coke is the first step in the cake production process. It is called the matters preparation. When it is heated up, to 1150 degrees centigrade. The coke allows the new blend to reach total fusion. The cake is thus a value-added product, which comes from fine ores that are enriched and mixed with other entrants, mostly the coke, to obtain a high-grade manganese product. When cooled down, the obtained manganese cake blocks of 56% grade are jigged according to the granulometry wanted by the client. The analysis of chemical contents and the quality check of all Camilog products are performed here in the laboratory unit. At every step of the mining process, from prospection to finished product, samples are drawn to be tested physically and chemically so as to identify their composition in terms of chemical elements. Analysis of solid matter are done with a spectrometer and those of liquid matter are done with plasma torch. It all combines to ensure the traceability and reliability of Comilog products. The assay of the manganese solution by potentiometric process Using potassium permanganate remains, however, the commercial norm to determine the manganese grade of the sample. Le Comilog a maintenant 50 ans, c'est l'âge de la maturité. Et à cet âge, on a envie de lancer de nouvelles aventures. Et en l'occurrence, Comilog se lance dans une nouvelle aventure avec un projet industriel majeur pour Comilog, qui est le C2M, qui sera un projet avec construction de deux usines une usine de silico-manganèse et une usine de manganèse métal, ce qui sera une grande première pour l'entreprise, mais aussi une grande première pour le Gabon. Et je crois qu'on est très fiers de se lancer dans cette, dans cette aventure, avec un démarrage prévu d'ici fin 2013. Donc actuellement, on est dans cette période de, de fin des études, de, de construction des installations, de recrutement du personnel, de formation du personnel, et de se préparer effectivement à intégrer cette nouvelle unité dans l'ensemble Comilog. The civic engineering work for the next complex called C2M have been underway since 2011. This project is a major challenge for Comilla and the industrialization of Gabon. It should be operational by end of 2013 or early 2014. It will comprise of two plants. One will produce silico manganese thanks to its two pyrometallurgic ovens. The other will produce metal manganese by hydrometallurgic processing from fines that couldn't be transformed through pyrometallurgy. As a result, a great many new professions and over 400 jobs are to be created. The C2M will make Gabon the first country to benefit a technologies transfer based on the triptych, training, employment, research, never equal in sub-Saharan Africa. Recruiting for managerial positions is also underway and plans for trainee programs have been defined. This will take place partly on the site and partly in France, China, Norway, and Belgium, in plants owned by the Eramet Group. To make sure of the reliability of the industrial hydrometallurgic process, which will treat different types of ores, a pilot unit has been set up near Shanghai in China. 
During its five months in operation in the course of 2011, it has been possible to test new proceedings to collect electrolysis guard and the automatization of the recouping of metal on the cathode in order to offer better work condition in terms of health and safety. The opening of the future metallurgic complex in Moanda has led Comila to schedule the construction of a hundred additional houses for its staff in keeping with the group's social commitments ever since its foundation. Indeed, in a context where everything had to be created from scratch, the human factor was never left behind. Housing development in Libreville and Moanda, 700 homes altogether, are the pride and joy of Comilo, which moreover contributes to the well-being of populations with various investments of public interest. Mwanda, on July 27, 2012. Before an important delegation led by the Minister of Industry and Mining and the attendance of local authorities. Le Gabon a besoin d'infrastructures routières pour assurer son développement. En contribuant un temps soit peu à cet objectif, Comilog démontre son engagement aux côtés des pouvoirs publics et des populations riveraines. Ranking among the best establishments in the country, the Marcel Abeke Hospital is a model of efficiency and modernity. Nothing is left to chance. A confirmation of the interest Comilog bestows its personnel and of its close relationship with the populations. In terms of education, for example, the Henri Silvo School Group, managed by Comilo, numbers 900 pupils, of which 93% are nationals and divided from nursery school to college. Ça, c'est ce que nous vivons aujourd'hui. Mais dans l'avenir également, euh, un projet qui nous tient à cœur, c'est euh, la construction en partenariat avec l'État euh, de l'école des mines, qui sera donc construite à Mwanda. Cette école des mines a une vocation d'abord gabonaise, mais peut-être aussi sous-régionale. Cette école des mines s'inscrit aussi dans le cadre de l'éducation. Comme il accompagne donc l'État dans ses aspects éducatifs pour justement marquer son intérêt, son implication. Dans, euh, dans la vie politique, dans la vie industrielle, dans la vie euh, administrative du, du, du pays. Another major aspect of Comilog's involvement in local and national communities is its support of cultural and sport activities with subsidies exceeding 1 billion francs CFA to the benefit of the Manga Sport Omnisport Association. Comilog entretient une équipe de football qui joue dans le championnat de première division. Cette équipe de football Manga Sport a représenté le pays à des compétitions euh, internationales euh, de Coupe africaine. Elle a été plusieurs fois euh, sacrée championne euh, du Gabon. Elle a plusieurs fois remporté la Coupe du Gabon. Et c'est une équipe qui est entièrement et 100% sponsorisé par euh, l'entreprise euh, Comilog euh, aujourd'hui. 50 years after, it is through its development and diversified policies that Comilog demonstrates its strength at adapting and making its mark in Gabon's and France's industrial history, owing to the powerful Eramet Group, which is present around the world with 15,000 employees. 
The Mwanda deposits were discovered in one of the most secluded and distant from the sea areas.